What up, everybody? It's Tuesday again, so we're here. Tu- yeah, it's Tuesday. I had to stop and think about it for a minute, because I've been busy. Has it really only... It's only been a week since I last streamed. It, it feels like it's been a heck of a lot longer than that. Hi, everybody. What's up? Oh, there's a lot of hot action in the chat. Let's see what we missed here. Waddy! First one out the gate there. Waddy hasn't seen this Dr. Pepper out there anywhere yet. Hmm. It's odd that, like... Yeah? I mean, no real surprise. It's it's in the, the stream title. But I heard about this, and then I saw this, so I bought this. Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. But, full transparency, I really just wanted to go to bed. I really just wanted to go to bed. But, I, but I've been looking at this for two days on my kitchen table, and I'm like, I really wanted to take some to work today, and I wanted to be like, Ugh. nope. If I'm going to try this, I have to stream. So we're here, so I can try this, so I can drink the rest. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why we're here. Wadi heard about it from Lamp. Tob! My ability to talk myself into streaming at Ninja has been almost nil lately. It's it's this transition of the seasons that, like, makes it hard to want to do anything. At least it does for me. You're allowed to keep Ninja to yourself when you want to, Tomp. It's fun to be there and encourage you. But if you're feeling more anxious than encouraged by streaming it, then I agree with the idea of not streaming it for now. It's not keeping it to myself. It's staying for an extra hour telling myself I'm going to stream or do anything and then not. That's fair. After justifying having a low effort time at team class because I tell myself, I'll do, I'll do some tomorrow. I'll do some after. I'll do a little later. I'll do a little later. But when I got there, they said he had just left. And when I asked him if I knew he was coming back, he said he didn't know. I've been really frustrated with myself. I'd be really frustrated with myself if I felt paralyzed at trying to do... Man, I can't even freaking read right now. Which happens to me a lot with stitching these days, honestly. I see... Ruff. How has the plague... Well, it hasn't opened yet. Um, it opens on Friday, so we, this is this is Hell Week. But it is also uh, moving into the new office week. <laughs> so I'm freaking tired. I did, I did about 12,000 steps yesterday, and... And by the time I get into bed tonight, I'm at currently at 14... 14,496. You probably can't see that. Uh, I'll have done fi- I'll have done 15,000 by the time I go to bed tonight. And tomorrow's probably going to be more of the same. Maybe not quite as maybe not maybe closer to 12 than 15, maybe. But um, but yeah, tomorrow is going to be my third very long day in a row. Because I have, like, work aside, work aside, I have tomorrow night and Thursday night to get the art center transformation done. Um, Grant, I don't have a whole lot left to do. That's what I got to keep telling myself. I don't have a whole lot left to do. And what I've, I've done the last two days, despite my long days at work, I've, I've gone up to the art center after work even though I'm working after hours, going up there and doing like one or two tasks that I was able to do and and then turning around and go, coming home. So like, I mean, it, it's an extra half hour of driving to do like an hour of work. But it means Monday I ran up there and I wrote the light cues. So the light show is done. I'm not changing anything. It's done. And then today, after work, I went up and I ran, I had the, I had our groundskeeper bring one of my 
one of the PA speakers from the theater down to the art center, so I didn't have to go up there. And I tried to wire that up, but my but my 50 foot speaker wire was about 15 feet too short. So I've got I've got basically a patch to make it a little longer that I'll I'll put in tomorrow. But there's still there's still a bunch of stuff to do. Tomorrow, Thursday, those are my days to do it. My only days to do it. Anyway, I, I got distracted here. Uh, where were we? After justifying having a low effort time at class because I... T oh, I, that's where we were. Um, there we were. How was the pl how was the play gone? And that's what got me on that tangent. Uh, sometimes every day is 10 years. That's Chris just Trump science. Just re-enlisted for 42 months. Woo! Drive, 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 drive. It feels so good, so good, to be alive, alive. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> Trashly, well, stop it, or we'll, one, we'll turn two, this stream three, around. Four, five, let's drive, drive. Well, thank you for the 42 months, Chris the Lamp. Nice to see ya. Nice to see ya. We're gonna crack into this creamy coconut once we get through chat. But nice to see ya. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Where were we? Uh, why do I feel like a lab? I am Rick <laughs> Flair, oh. the President of the United States! Woo, 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 woo! Now Lamp is officially here. I was gonna be like, I think he's missing something, but, but to put the resub ahead of the Flair, I'll accept it. I'll accept it. That's a, that's a, that's a gentlemanly move. Um, you sound tired and depressed. I, I'm not depressed. I'm... At least I'm just very tired. I'm just very, very tired. I've gotten good sleep though. I'm just, I'm, it's been exhausting. <laughs> like the end of last week through into this week. It's just, it's a lot. It is a lot. And, and I ain't getting any younger, you know, but no, my mood's been good. So no worries there. It's just it's just your boy being tired. According and I, according to my sleep tracker, I got almost a full eight hours last night. So you know the sleep is good. I'm just I'm just wiped out. HB oh <clears throat> HB got to get that right. My car alarm was just going off, but I ignored it because I had started a DC movie and Krypton was blowing up without the alarm was in the movie. Why was your alarm going off? Dang, kids. Good job doing the lighting. Thanks, Woody. It was weird to like go there and be like, this is my task. This is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to leave. And then I finished it and I'm like, I'm sitting there like, well, what else do I have to do? It also helps that, like, there's other stuff that I just couldn't or can't do because I'm still waiting for stuff to arrive. Oh, yeah, and I also, I wire, I tried to wire up that speaker, and then I also, my third, uh, my third uh, blackout curtain arrived because I ended up, the two I ordered weren't big enough. The door, it was bigger than I, the doors were bigger than I thought they were. So I, so, but putting, hanging that third uh, perfect. It looks perfect. So, zang. Um, so that, yeah, that's the two things I did. Um, I think I was, I think I was out in under an hour. It was, it was about long enough to do that, to yeah, run that wire, put the speaker where I want it, hang that curtain and, and, and drink a DC like a gentleman and yeah, head home. Sun in my eyes the whole time, but hey, I got to feel the sun on my face. Oh, God, it's been gorgeous the last two days, too. Like, high 60s, low 70s, mo very few clouds, just impeccably nice out. So that extra that extra drive up to the theater before I go home has just meant more time in the sunshine, so I appreciate that. Downside, though, with the with the move at work and everything means I'm, I'm moving back into my hole that has no window. But... Um, it is, it is very clear that, um, of everyone in the office during this whole remodel, I'm, I'm really the one that, that hit the jackpot with it. Cause like my office looks fucking great. 
It looks great, and there's so much more room for activities. Um, more like one of the directors was like, uh, made a comment of like, "Oh yeah, your office turned out really great. I almost, I almost think I'm gonna switch with you." Still not entirely sure if he's kidding or not, but like, from my cold dead hands, <laughs> you had, you could have had them do your office too. You fuck. You're not taking mine. Um, anyway, but, um, I also, I also lucked out because in the move from where we were in Waterbury, we used to be, we used to share a wall with the temporary office space of the attorney general's office. And, um, there was a conference room in there that, that, that office used. And when they were using it, they bought, they bought a, um, you know, like, like so many institutions do, um, just a big TV on a cart so that they could, you know, for their meetings. And when they, and when they, they ended up moving back to Montpelier months ago, but they didn't want to have to bother bringing that thing back. So they left it and they're like, well, you guys can have it. So, um, so we inherited that from the other office. And then in bringing that back to our new office, uh, no one really knew where it should go. So, uh, I now have a a uh, a seventy inch uh, OLED in my office, which fits perfectly right next to my door. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be w w hooking that seventy inch OLED up to an uh, to an outdoor camera. So that seventy inch OLED is now gonna be my window because I don't have one. And like, I'm not even bad. Like I tell everyone like, that's, this is exact. This is what I'm doing with it. I hope you know, this is what I'm doing. And so, and my boss says, and my boss is like, that's so cool. I want to see it. So. <sighs> they a lot going on, a lot going on. Where were we? Uh, Lamps resub. I'd also like to say that Macklemore came out with a song about the Palestine, uh, side. Listen, if you choose and free Palestine. Agreed. Holy loud. It's a penguin. Welcome, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> it's a... There we go. All the lovely greetings. Glad you got good sleep. Yeah, me too. Normally when I would be this busy, like my sleep would suffer. And like I thought it would, and I thought it would because I've, I've been in that like go, go, go all day to the point where like when I would get into have gotten in their bed the last couple nights. I felt like it's taken me a while to actually fall asleep, but at least according to my tracker, I'm, I'm still, I'm still getting good sleeps. I'm hitting all the metrics and you know, I'm still like, I still don't want to get up, but like 10, 15 minutes after I make myself get up. Yeah. I'm awake. I'm fine. I'm like, Oh yeah, I guess I am recharged. I just, I don't want to jump back into it. Anyone else? I forgot. Hi! <laughs> oh, you leaned on your key fob. I, yeah, I, I've done that before. I did it once when I was I was sitting in my car, and I didn't I didn't. I mean, I guess there's no reason why it wouldn't, but like the I leaned on the panic button, so it was like beep 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 beep. When I was in the car, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? On you! Nice to see you, Anya. How are you doing? My key fob don't do shit, so I can lean on it all day. <laughs> Work sucks. Hell yeah. No update yet from the job I interviewed for on Friday, which is making me nervous. Oh, well, we'll, we'll cross our fingers, and you'll have to trust me that I'm crossing my toes, because I'm not I'm not going to put my feet on the internet. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but, like, still, people are weird. Anya, quit your job on Friday. Was this was this a was this a planned you're leaving your job or was this a you've had enough? Uh, fuck this shit. I'm going home. Or somewhere in between. Never show your feet for free. Yeah, yeah. If I was if I was gonna, I'd have to, you know, make it worth someone's while. <laughs> I just don't want to. 
I have I have too many other creative pursuits. The last thing I need to do is worry about like the quality of my feet content. <laughs> You just haven't wanted to make that level of money yet. You know, if I if I had a crystal ball, you know, a, a, a social media success crystal ball where I could see, like, if there was a market for my particular feat out there, and that would become the thing that could make me internet money, then I'd probably do it. Because why not? But, you know, all the hundreds of hours I put into YouTube and all these other things, and it's like, oh, feet. <laughs> Man, feet. <laughs> oh, but anyway. It's a really long story. Let's just say there was a straw that broke the proverbial camel's back. My mom thinks I should call a lawyer, and Hubs was 100% supportive, even knowing we'd be losing my income until I find something else. All right, well, without pressing for details, um, uh, I think I can speak for all of us here when I say we are behind you 100,000 million percent, and we support you, and whatever you need to do to... Um, uh, whether it's calling a lawyer or holding whatever or whoever responsible for what led to that, then I'm sure you are more than justified and, and, and we got your back. Eric is saying we support you even more than your husband does on ya. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to put us above everyone. I'm saying just us as the collective, like we got your back too. You got an army behind you. The red, Ar the, the snoot troop. <laughs> We're not the red army, cause, cause no. Damn, Putin took that away from us. Uh, but I digress. Somehow putting them out there and no one wanting them makes it worse than making the millions. On yeah, yeah. Those be like, I went through the, I went through the effort. There they are. No one wants them. Okay. Just like my YouTube videos. Went through the effort, put them out there. Nobody wants them. Okay. <laughs> I hope you find something that brings you peace very quickly. Here, here. And there, there. For Anya May. Because life is, life is too short to deal with that sort of bull honky. But what life is hopefully not too short for is for putting Dr. Pepper's creamy coconut in your mouth. Uh, I, I, I'm concerned. Cons wow. I'm, I'm not concerned, actually. I don't, maybe I should be. Because I didn't mean to say that. I was meant to say I'm curious. I'm curious, but apparently I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, everybody. You snorted your water. Oh God, that's the worst. The only thing, well, the only thing worse than that is getting pool water up your nose. Maybe ocean water, but I think pool water. It's been a while since I had ocean water up my nose. Which is surprising, because like the rough surf I was jumping around in in Puerto Rico, I didn't get any up in my nose. But anyway, concern is reasonable. Well, that's good. Or bad. Or somewhere in between. You shouldn't be putting anyone's creamy coconuts in your mouth on stream for free. Well, Lamp Lamp resubscribed. So technically I'm I'm getting paid for being here tonight. <laughs> so I guess we're putting these creamy coconuts in our mouth for Lamp. <laughs> But I guess if you're going to do it, be glad for it. Absolutely. If you're going to do it, do it with gusto. The super simple version of the last straw. I answered an, an anonymous survey asking how I felt a provider rep was doing. Six months and he's an arrogant, abstinent, unprepared. Anyway, 
The company decided that they knew it was me, even though there was no name on it. They called my upper, upper management, and they went to HR, and they decided that I was under written corrected correction action for an anonymous survey they don't have proof I did. Yeah, that's bullshit. And th that's also something I've heard, like, and seen TikToks about, like, like HR people posting TikToks, like, you, those anonymous surveys, they are not anonymous. I think I've only done one or two ever, but even then I've been like, I've never been fully on. There was one time that I was fully honest on a work survey, but it was not one of those anonymous surveys. It was, it was, it was a survey I got for my exit interview at my old job. And I just laid it out because I was like, whatever, I'm, I'm, I've got a state job now. I don't need this. And you know, I'm laying out exactly, exactly why I'm leaving. Um, the big problems we have here and to do everything I could to make sure, uh, to make sure, uh, my coworker, Kevin, who was, who me and him were like the longest serving people in that department. I, 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 I a senior on him for one week, despite him being like the same age as my mom. And I was like, it, I like, if, if I can lay this out now, so things can be changed so that Kevin gets the recognition he deserves, then I'm going to be as honest as I can. And I was. And and from what I heard, like, you know, year cycled around and everything. Um, Kevin got a really good, really good review the next year. So. It's the little things, the little things. But he's a good dude, works extremely hard and absolutely deserved it. Uh, where were we? Yeah, fucking anonymous survey. Ugh. And then and that's the thing. Like, if they get everything that they like to hear, they don't care who did it. They're like, oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. But, you, well, like, if the second there's something negative in it, they're like, who did this? Who did this? Yay, corporate America. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good guy, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've talked about Kevin before on stream. Yeah, my old, my, well, not old man, but like my older man work friend. I still, I still, uh, I still message him every now and then, see how things are going. Cause he's still there. God, that means he just hit 10 years. Wow. That means I would have hit 10 years. Cause I'm coming up. Yeah, I'm coming up on three. Wow. Three years at my, my government job. But it means I'm coming up on only having two years of student loan payments left. Which will be nice. P.S. Totally drinking creamy coconut. Dr. P. Oh, I keep meaning to freaking open this and then I keep getting distracted. All right, we're doing this right now. Let's get a nice crisp on it. So, shh. Ooh, crispy. <laughs> Well, you didn't need to redeem drink, but we were going to do it anyway, but I appreciate that. Oh, wow. That is, uh, <laughs> that smells like coconut. The thing with coconut flavored and scented things is it's very easy for it to end up smelling like coconut scented shampoo or soap. I feel like this is still on the coconut scented flavored food side, but it's close. It's close. That was extra crispy. All I want is for it to not taste like sunscreen. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what I was getting at. It smells like coconut flavored food stuffs, but you know, that, that line is very fine. So here we go. Cheers. Slancha, everybody. Going to put Dr. Pepper's creamy coconut in my mouth. On a Tuesday. Slancho. It does not taste like sunscreen. <laughs> Do they make it non-zero sugar version? Yes. Yes. This is just my preference. 
In fact, when I when I saw it on the shelf, I had to like double triple check to make sure I was grabbing the zero sugar version. Yes, a win. <laughs> yes, while while I am while I am the streamer that that uh, that waves the flag for Pib, uh, Wadi is the uh, the official Dr Pepper uh, flag waver. Is there a term for that? I don't know. But yeah, it's it's. I'm really I'm I'm relieved. I'm really relieved. Anime surprise! They did good with the coconut. Yeah, me too. It's it's a tricky flavor. Because it's so often used in things like soap and shampoo and sunscreen that with smell being so intrinsically tied to memory, in a lot of our day-to-day -day lives, that's where we are most likely to encounter something that smells like coconut is in a product, not in a food. Because like by itself, coconut doesn't smell like a whole lot. And, if, and even like... Uh, eating something like an Almond Joy or a Mounds, those don't really smell like coconut. There's not a whole lot of aroma in those. In fact, I think I think you smell the chocolate more than you do the coconut. But... Yeah. It's, it's, very, it's very much like, you know, s sweetened... sweetened coconut. Because again, like... Regular, like, taking a bite of a piece of coconut meat that's just, like, you know, cracked it open and took a bite. That, that to me, is a is an entirely different flavor and, and everything than, like, processed sweetened coconut, which I also think has sulfur in it as part of the processing stuff. But, yeah, they're different. They're totally different. But... In terms of like the sweetened coconut, this yeah, this really works. At least to me. And on you may. I was just wondering if it would change the taste that much in that case. Oh, between the uh, between the zero sugar and the regular. That is a good question. Although I think in terms of like the the different makes and models of soda out there. I think Dr. Pepper more so than any of the others is the one that cracked the code of making their sugar-free or diet versions taste pretty much exactly like the regular one, <clears throat> like fairly indistinguishable. Although maybe that was just brainwashing from those <laughs> those commercials in the 90s when there was like, Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular. And that's just kicking around in my brain as some sort of fact. Because I was Dr. Pepper brainwashed. Did you get your drink, Waddy? Waddy is Dr. Pepper's nurse. <laughs> I still find it funny the day I saw someone else post about it send it to you that you had already I, it's And it's not even that. I had just purchased it like... When you sent me that message, I was in I was in the car, having just come out of the store, and this 12-pack was behind my seat. I had literally just bought it when he sent me that message. Coconut has creeped its way into nearly every part of our lives. Ah, the coconut run! I need the biggest coconut cracker you have. No, that's too big. Wadi did get get your drink. I got iced tea that I'm drinking today and diet soda caffeine. Diet soda caffeine for tomorrow because my Walmart order didn't arrive until 5 p.m. So I figured soda was a bad idea. I thought about... Is this caffeinated? I didn't even think to check. 41 milligrams for 12 ounces. Okay, a little more than a, a little more than a Diet Coke, but okay. Well, I brought two of them in here. I, I'm only gonna drink one. I, I gotta be able to sleep. But I got one of these for backup. Got another peach tea here. Ah. 
When I think coconut, I think coconut oil, not shampoo and such. Huh. I'm, I haven't... I mean, I've heard, you know, coconut oil touted for all these other things. I think I've only ever bought and used it once. But my... my but there is there is one use case where coconut oil it, for me is is essential and that is recreating movie theater popcorn at home it's the two things you need and if anyone tells you different then they're then they don't know what they're talking about it has to be coconut oil in coconut oil and flavacol which you can buy in a 1950s looking package on Amazon it's just this it's the power, pow, it's powdered diacetyl and salt and other flavorings that is exactly what's in movie theater popcorn and if you think and if you once you realize that like coconut oil is the I, and I say it has to be coconut oil next time you get movie theater popcorn think that it's coconut like realize that it's it's coconut oil you can actually taste the coconut there and that's that's a big part of why like a lot of well, a lot of people if they make popcorn at home, like stovetop popcorn at home they're just like oh just you know use a butter in there a little oil to prevent it from smoking or like any other type of oil it just doesn't come out right even if you're using flavacol it doesn't come out right because it's like it's it's almost there like is it missing salt what is it missing it's that it's that tiny little nuttiness that coconut oil brings to it once I found that out, the world is my popcorn oyster. <laughs> Your boy's tired. I'm now on attempt number three of trying to watch the roast of Tom Brady. Hopefully I don't pass out. We'll probably... There was a roast of Tom Brady? Is that a recent thing? Then again, like, I don't watch TV. It's good to know. I'll talk to my mom about that. She's obsessed with Coke. Yeah, sulfur dioxide is used in, in production as a preservative so the fruit doesn't go bad. Oh, ah, okay. Interesting. But there is fruit without the sulfur dioxide, which is apparently healthier. I, I, yeah, I've seen that advertised, and I've always wondered, like, I've slightly wondered. I haven't wondered to the extent where, like, I could take out my pocket computer and find the answer. But, you know, just one of those, like, huh. If they're touting, like, well, wh well, why is the sulfur in there in the first place? Hmm. But never enough to look it up. So thank you for that information. Now I know. And we are all better for now knowing it. Isa's got to run, though. I'll try to head back in later. Have fun, folks. All right, Isa, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the drink redemption. And have a good rest of your evening. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to be here super late. It's, again, I'm tired. I need to get sleep. So we're going to have our chats, drink our soda, do our marbs, and peace on out. I'd be surprised if we make it to 11 by the time marbs is over. Because, like, again, I, I need to freaking sleep. But I wanted to be here. And I wanted to share this experience with everyone. And uh, and then, I yes, I will be, I will be streaming the show as well. Probably not this weekend because I'm... I'm trying something I've never done before and I want to be able to do like a, a test run or two before I try. I'm basically trying to do a live multicam uh, stream for this. So we'll see. <laughs> so probably, probably next Friday. Cause like, cause this coming Friday there won't be a stream. Cause I, I have to run the show next Friday. There's a second performance second Friday performance so um, I'll probably stream it and I'll and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a twitch stream and I'm gonna do a YouTube stream so next Friday this we're gonna do our test drive our live test drive and I'll probably stream it here on twitch and then I'll do one of the I'll probably do Saturdays um, to the Corey works YouTube channel so so next weekend not this coming weekend but like all the way around. Oh no, rest in peace. Susan Buckner, former Miss America, Mrs. America finalist, and Grease actress.
who was she in Greece? During the two summers when I was in college, when I worked in a factory, I would bring fresh coconut as my fruit for lunch sometimes, which meant getting coconuts and hammering them in the driveway till they cracked. I mean, that that's that's the best part. That's the best part. And like, there's there's only a handful of times like I was allowed to get a coconut um, when I was a kid because like I, I loved the idea of it, but it's always like, no, that's yeah, blah, 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 blah. And just, oh, it's a big mess. And it's like, it's not a big mess. And then the first time I got one, I wasn't allowed to crack it. <laughs> my, my, gra my grandfather took it out to his workshop, cut it into pieces on his table saw, and then gave it to me. <laughs> so I got none of the fun out of it. And also none of the coconut water because he just like dumped it out. Um... Yeah, I don't think it was until I was, like, in college that I was like, wait a second. I'm an adult now. I can I can buy my own coconuts. And then I, like, you know, I, got, I, I smashed it enough for it to, like, crack and everything. And then I just pulled it the rest of the way open with my hands because it was fun. Where were we? Good night, Isa. Good night, Isa. It's amazing in your hair. Well, uh, coconut oil. It was on Netflix Live on Saturday. She played Patty's. Oh, okay. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie. But, okay. I know the character, so. Oh, well, people are getting older. My hands have never been strong enough to tear open a coconut. Well, I, I didn't tear it open. I, like, you know, it was cracked, so I was able to, like, you know, weasel my fingers in there and, like. But, of course, I'm also someone I can I can crack walnuts with my fingers, so, I got strong digits, I guess. That's a, <laughs> but that's a skill I can't monetize either. Oh, Kristen Lamp. Good news, everyone. I've also never weaseled a coconut open to my knowledge. <laughs> Fair enough, Waddy. Fair enough. We're waiting on Lamp's good news. With bated breath. And coconut breath. Yeah, this is good. Of like the alternate Dr. Pepper flavors, I think this may be my favorite one. That's yeah, I will I will go out on a limb and say that. More so than like the Dr. Pepper cream. More so than the Dr. Pepper Cherry. Like, this Dr. Pepper Coconut. And this is a limited edition, too. So, of course I'm going to like it. Because they're going to take it away. My parents gave me a super early birthday gift. Tickets to the two... Ticket the two nights to see Metallica at Gillette Stadium. <gasps> that is good news. Is that why you... I, I saw you... I saw something that you posted on Facebook relating to that today. And I was like, was he going to that? I can't remember. Well, I guess now you are. So, heck yeah, Lamp. Heck yeah. How do I feel about the cream soda one? I think it's good. I think it's honestly a little too sweet. Like, it, it's, it's got that cream soda vibe. I just think it's a bit much. I think... I think A&W's cream is probably the one I would use as a benchmark. And probably Polar's in second. I mean, there's not much out there to choose from, but... That one is good. Indeed. I like it too, HB, but don't like the strawberries and cream. That one was also way too... That was, that was desserty. Like, it wasn't like drinking a soda. It was like... Okay, this is... I just had dessert. It was... Yeah. The strawberries and... That was a bit much. I mean, it wasn't bad. But it was just a bit much. It, it, it didn't scratch that itch of like, I want to drink a soda. It didn't scratch that itch. A&W is definitely best. Speaking of which, I need to book the cabinet. KOA. Koa. 
Uh, my thought is it would be more enjoyable than hotel because there's a day between both shows. Yeah, that'd be cool. I haven't had that one yet, Waddy, so I have no opinion on it. That's a hell of an early birthday present. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, then more shows keep popping up and I see them and I'm like, that'd be nice to go to, but I can't. But one that came up that I kind of, I kind of stopped and thought about for a bit was, um, uh, uh, Ringo Starr's All-Star Band was going on tour again, and I stopped for a moment and, and looked at that, because that was going to be... Um, I had bought tickets to take my, to bring my mom um, in 2020 to see Ringo Starr, because I'm like... Because I was like... Because I had just taken her to see Queen, and like all these other, sh all these other bands that she... And artists that she liked growing up, and I'm like taking my mom to see a beetle like i don't think i could top that unfortunately the concert got delayed and delayed and then canceled so i was never able to take my mom to see a beetle so but i saw him and i was like maybe i don't know i could do one of those like i could go myself in tribute because i've done that several to <laughs> several shows um but yeah i don't know I don't know. We'll see. It's just, it's summers, man. It's summers or I'm so dang busy. a and is definitely best. Speaking of which, I need to, oh, I saw that. Uh, thanks, HB. I'm excited because I can finally check off the <coughs> live band bucket list of seeing Pantera. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, man, you're going to have a hell of a time. Get another crisp here. I open this peach tea instead of that other coconut, which looks at me longingly. <laughs> nice hiss. But I also said I needed to try this uh, a bit warmer because oh, I don't look at that. That's still like. Not all that aggressively carbonated. Because that was one of my problems with the other one. Was it seemed undergassed. Maybe I got a maybe I got a badly gassed batch. Because I got this this came from the, the same store. Oh. Yeah, not many bubbles. Dang. That Dr. Pepper had more bubbles than this. What you doing, Polar? You're slack a lacking. Uh, I want you to honor me by giving me gas. Ah, well. Oh. Maybe all those bubbles are coming out now in my belly. Guess we'll see. Oh. But anyway, we talked a lot about me. How is... How is everyone else doing out there on this Tuesday evening?
Oh, there it is. Sorry, I had to work that one out. waddy has been trying to make new local friends. So we got on the Bumble BFF app, but almost all the potential friends on there are 50 plus miles away. Oh, man. <laughs> Waddy wielding the ban hammer. HB's good. Gotta go moisturize my tattoo soon. I'll be getting my letter of readiness sent to me this week. Nice! Whoa. Merba Panda Booty just cheered one bit. Swiggity swooty. Swiggity swooty. Here comes that booty. Nice to see you, Mare Bear. How are things going for you tonight? So now I'm just figuring out how to... Figuring out how far I'm going to be willing to drive for local friends. Yeah, that's one thing they don't teach you in school is, like, how how few and far between opportunities to, like, make friends and meet people are as an adult. But, Wadi, I wanted to lower my price. <laughs> yes, I'm so pleased about your letter coming, HB. Yes, we all are. Lower the price of you being my friend. <laughs> Mayor Bear has been trying to make friends too. I went out with Alex Saturday and got really depressed because I was reminded I didn't have female friends to dance with. Aww. Yeah, it's, it's a jungle out there. I don't know what I meant by that, but like, it's tough. It's tough. But we do our best. It's all we can do. Or do our worst. I mean, however we're feeling. Oh, man. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to think of one, two, three, four, seven. I've put like twenty something workstations together in the last two days. I think I have upwards of another ten to go. My count is right. And those all involve like crawling around underneath desks many times and running wires and doing all this other stuff. And carrying a lot of equipment and multiple monitors to each station and all this other stuff. So, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yesterday, like last night when I was getting ready for bed, my, my knee was kind of threatening to do the thing that my knee likes to do. Um, that, make, that ends up with me in a brace for a week. But I think it changed. I don't know. Maybe I got enough sleep and it changed its mind. So, you know, cross your fingers for that. That's the last thing I need while well, I've still got so much to do. I wish the comedians I know in Pittsburgh were still in contact with me so I could send you towards each other in a friendly way. One is Tim Ross and the other is... I can never pronounce that guy's name, but... Uh, Jaeger Jägermeister Tempelhoff, who Eric and Tom have also seen. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Maybe I went to a gay bar that was recommended to, to you and... They're quitting and going home and that... What? It was recommended to me they're quitting and going home and that perked me up. I made a community on Reddit for the first time for witches in Pittsburgh, hoping to find my people in that sense. Well, you're you're putting in the work, Mare Bear, so hopefully, you know, I, I guess it's kind of like fishing. You, you're throwing the line out. You know, you've baited your hooks. So now you just got to wait for someone to come along so you can... So you can snag him and be like, friend! Or, you know, you reel him in and they're like, wow, this is disappointing. So you, you know, you put him back. <laughs> that sounds fun, Mayor Bear. And today I found a telegram chat for lesbians slash women today. So hopefully that'll also help me find some girlfriends. Yeah, you're putting in the work. You're putting in the work and that... That accounts for a lot. Unfortunately, there's the other side of that where the work has been put in, but now you gotta kind of wait for other people to also put the work in. 
but you've done what you can. So that's, that's, you know, nine tenths of the journey or whatever. <clears throat> There's just that last bit that you can't control, which is frustrating. Oh yeah, hanging out with Alex. You like this? Yeah, yeah, you like this. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Calling all oceans. Oh. oh, that's very good. Hopefully the universe rewards you for putting that out, for putting in all that work. Let's put it all out into the universe. Oh, oh, and I don't know if I had this to... Did I? No. Yeah. I um, Okay. I unboxed this last time. My, cause the, uh, the eats a pizza shirt. And then Rickshaw Tom got a, uh, got a eats a pizza blanket. I just couldn't remember if I, yeah, I, as I started saying something, I'm like, oh yeah, we, I took this out of the package and shared it with everyone, but it's a very good shirt. So for anyone out there, maybe sitting on some, uh, um, sitting on some snoots, waiting for free merch, uh, the Yitsa Pizza stuff it looks pretty good. The gay bar I checked out, Blue Moon has Dyke Night one Thursday a month, and it's happening next week. So I'm gonna try to get out of work early, to go to that. Cool, Mayor Bear. Well, definitely let us know how that goes. I migrated the first person off the Bumble BFF app and into text. Cool, and that's going well. Obviously, she's also the very farthest away at two plus hour drive. <laughs> it's also kind of like an American problem, isn't it? Everything in America, well, in a lot of areas in America, is just so spread out. I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe not those specific apps, but versions of that that are like in in other countries that are smaller. I'm sure they have an easier time just because they're not so damn far away. So, the minimum wage in Pennsylvania is seven twenty-five, and I just wanted a fucking Mexican pizza when nobody was there to work to keep the fucking lobby open. And I don't want to eat a Mexican pizza in my car. It smells like shit, but it tastes delicious. Sounds like Phoenix is here. Oh god, my music. There we go. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Howdy, Phoenix. Nice to see ya. How are things going in your neck of PA? I don't get how I'm in Pittsburgh now, where there's more people, and I'm still having the best matches with people <laughs> people far away, or day, a day away. I fully understand that issue, Wadi. I have wrestling friends all over the country, and I might get lucky and see him once a year. Far away. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I'm just like... So much of the year, I'm I'm wrapped up with my small theater tribe in in a very small state, in a very niche sort of industry, and I don't have much of a chance to meet other people. Because when I do have free time, my social battery is drained, and I'm just like, I want to be home. <laughs> so, oh well. Oh well. But being here, hanging out with all y'all, that 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 scratches a lot of that social itch. Our Vermont trip will be in August, though, so save a seat for me on your stream. And depending on when you come, uh, in August, it will uh I may or may not be performing Dracula. So maybe you can come see me there. In all my Van Helsing glory. I get to fast for tonight so I can get my blood work done and see the doctor. And see the doctor to see if my cholesterol's in check. Ugh. Well, fortunately, we've, uh, we already, we already had our creamy coconut, so we don't have to tempt you with that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, well, we, we got our, we got our fingers crossed that you get some, uh, get good marks in your exam, Phoenix. Well, he's also being especially careful with people who list themselves as Christian, but I've got queer Demi Pan as part of my listed identity there, so I'm hoping people who are too dogmatic will weed themselves out. 
Seems like a good strategy. Especially as you're getting into that region of the country. Ooh, that's cool. My social battery is like Schrodinger's cat. It is simultaneously full and empty. I never know which one it is. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I, I absolutely relate to that. Sometimes I don't even realize it's empty until I'm already somewhere where, like, I need it. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, well. But we make the best of it. We do what we can. The furry camping meet is August 8th to 11th. Not sure if we will come days before that or show up the day before a camp to meet and stay the rest of the week. <laughs> Christian down here means a lot. Exactly. That's what I call wallflower. Time to find a wall and look at my phone. Story of my life. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm here, aren't I? Okay, so that's... Hold on. Uh, Mayor Bear said 8th to 11th. Let me see. August 8th to 11th. I think, that, I think that's the our first weekend. I, yeah, I think the 8th is when we open uh, Draculia. So that weekend and the following weekend. So if any of that lines up with you being up here, I'd, I'd love for you to come see, come see me in the original... Dracula as the one and only Van Helsing. Or at least be able to you know, do something with you while you're here. It's funny how many people will still try to match you when you know from the start your identities and interests don't align. It's probably because it's probably because a lot of well, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know the the ratio of it, but I'm sure some of those at least like they wouldn't or didn't care enough to look. Like, maybe she'll change for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, those people will be dis disappointed. I've already changed so much to get here. I'm not going back. That is an awesome way to describe your social battery. Stealing. <laughs> Steal away. Yeah, I'm trying to think like in this in this day and age, like when you get somewhere and you realize like and you you and maybe you're in a situation where you can't immediately turn around and leave, it's like where would we be at this point without our little pocket computers to like leave me alone? I'm just I'm trying to remember like back in back in the before times, you know, what were the options? Like say you say you were going to go someone's house, then you know the the first easy out would be like, okay, do they have a pet, a dog, a cat? Where if they do, where is it? Bring me that bring me that beast and let it and let it distract me from the humans. Um, and then barring that, there would be okay. Have they got? Have they got have they got books? Is there a bookshelf? Can I go can I go look at the books just stare, not even reading the books on the shelves for a while and like Oh, I'm I'm so interested in seeing what you've got on your shelf. And please nobody come up to me and try to talk talk to me about what's on the shelf. Please don't. Or um I hope this place has more than one bathroom, so I can go in one and camp out there for a while. <laughs> Until I can get, until I can, uh, until I can muster up the courage to give the old Irish goodbye. That's how I feel the older I get. Like, I like people, but also I like alone time. And sometimes peopling makes me tired. Working with people in mental health doesn't help. Oh, I know, I know exactly what you mean, Mary Bear, but I, I've felt that my whole life. And it's just like, like, I, I, yeah, I got like a, I, my social battery is like a triple A. You know, it's small. It doesn't have a whole lot of charge in it. 
and more often than not, it's you discover it's drained when you really need it. Like when another dam, uh, when another dam, uh, uh, better help ad comes on on YouTube and you're like, I need to change this, but the remote isn't working. I need to skip, skip, skip. Phoenix has got the blood work, the doctor's appointment. Your cat needs to get a pressure check. I have to return medical equipment for Catalina, my D&D game later in the evening, dishes to clean, living room to rearrange. Oh, man. Being an adult is hard. <laughs> Especially, like, when you're not living in the 1% and have, and have, you know, the help to do these things for us. We have to do it all ourselves. Ugh. Let's see, I, I got home, I got home at like 7, 10, 7, 15 tonight. Spent like half an hour making a dinner type thing. Ate the dinner type thing. Put a few more things in the dishwasher. Started the dishwasher. Um... Remembered that I had a, a package arrive today, so I had to open it and check to make sure everything was in working order. Because it was it was a uh, it was across my fingers, hold my breath, and and order some s suspiciously cheap things off of eBay, and just hope I get what I ordered. Fortunately, I did, and it was like not only was it exactly what it was supposed to be, but it was like you know it was in. It was listed in, in fair to good condition, but I couldn't find anything wrong. Absolutely nothing. So, got a little W there. Um, and then I had to come in here, install some updates, and get ready for stream. On top of, you know, <laughs> freaking working all day. One person asked me what my favorite board game is, and I listed like four games. None of which she's ever heard of. So I tried to save it by agreeing that I like Mexican food in Margs, but but I don't I don't know that one might be over. Well, we don't all like. Oh wait, they asked you about board games. You listed four games, and she had. Oh okay. I, don't know, I, I feel like I feel like board game people kind of fall into two camps. You have, like, most people who are here who are, like, you know, they've, they've heard of, you know, a, a good amount of, like, old, like, games you grew up with, but also, like, newer party type games. They're like, oh, yeah, I know that, or I've played that a few times. Um, I went through a Catan phase, blah, blah, blah. But then you have the folks over here who are, like, really into board games. Like, they know shit that maybe hasn't even reached the patent office yet. They're, they're just, they're so into it. Like, like board games as a lifestyle almost. And, but there's not much in between. At least in the, in my limited experience. Oh, by the way, my health journey got an MRI June 7th for your leg. Since it's not blood clots, I'm thinking it could be nerve issues like sciatica. Oh God. I had sciatica for a while. It's, it's, terrible it's absolutely terrible i mean good good it's not blood clots so hashtag winning question mark but yeah sciatica i had non i had like non-stop sciatica for like a year and a half it was terrible why do you have to rearrange the living room phoenix Books and cats and books and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Podge! Nice to see you, Podge. And I had my appointment with the PCOS dietitian, and she wants to get me started on a small dose of metformin because she thinks I can help regulate my insulin and sugar so I can break out of my plateau. I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I, If that's something you're on board with, I hope that it works, and I hope... Uh, I hope that goes well. Cataluna had a leg scooter and our living room doubles as our dining room as well. We push tables and chairs. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I could try Berberin 
It's the natural metformin, basically, but I would be paying out of pocket, and I'm already spending a lot of vitamins. Yeah, if, if insurance can pay for the other one, just freaking go for it. Save the money. We have so little of it these days. Yeah, I'm unfortunately really into board games, despite not having it as a lifestyle. I kickstart shit and really love it. Only one way to find out, as just sciatica can be picked... Just sciatica can be picked up on an MRI. Healthcare for all. I had to. I had to. I had to really make a point with that one. Metformin is usually given to diabetics, but women with PCOS use metformin too, since they have similar issues with insulin and blood sugar. Okay. Is that one of those is that one of those things that there's commercials for? They're like to, to control my insulin and I might also lose a little weight. Ah, there's so many I think it's I still think it's so bizarre that we're in a country where they're allowed to have pharmaceutical commercials. This thing may cause brain hemorrhaging and death, but at least I don't kick myself in the ass when I walk anymore. Talk to your doctor. Could also be a disc issue in your lower back. I had some bulging discs in my lower back that was confused for sciatica at first. I would ask them to check your back too when you get your MRI. Same goes for that semeglitude. But the dietitian wants me to try metformin before the semeglitude. That stuff's really expensive. Like the semeglitude slash Wagovi slash Ozempic. That's all the same stuff, isn't it? I've heard it's like really obscenely expensive. Yeah, when my back got really bad, it was, um, it may have been a, it may have been a disc issue, but that through like, um, a change in, a change in footwear and getting some chiropractic adjustments got cleared up. Um, I mean, they basically like, yeah, I mean, the cause of what it was for me was, um, I was walking crooked my whole life with um, one of my I can't even remember which at this point one of my legs is like uh, 11 millimeters shorter than the other one so I was always like a bit crooked but then I also for most of my life up until that point used to keep my wallet in my back pocket and it was on the side where like that crookedness from walking was amplified even more so like getting a lift for my shoe and then no longer sitting on my wallet and then just getting things straightened out. And that's kind of, kind of remain that way. So, you know, every once in a while I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have a bad back day, but for the most part, it's been fine. So I'm, I'm one of those weird cases where like, um, I went to a chiropractor, they found the issue, gave me a solution for it. And like, a very short regimen of visits and then I was done. I didn't have, to, I didn't have to go back again. It was like, okay, you're done. See you. Have a good life. But maybe it was just, you know, one of the, one of the good ones. Cause like, there's some, there's some fucking quacks out there. But I digress. Good idea. Leg and back pain often, often corrected. Yeah, it's crazy expensive and it's hard to get even when insurance covers it because people that aren't diabetic and don't have PCOS are taking it because it's being advertised as a weight loss drug. Yeah, and they actually, there was a bit of a, a bit of a, not an uproar, but like a, um, like between, between the state and my union and the insurance company, like a, a hubbub and everything because... Um, they had decided that the, the insurance that we got as state employees was no longer going to cover, um, the, you know, that, that drug, the Ozempic drug for, for anyone, including folks that were that like legitimately just had diabetes and were using it to treat diabetes. They're like, it's too expensive. We're not going to cover it for anyone. 
So there's a there's like a I literally have diabetes. What what the hell are you talking about? And I mean I don't even know how it got cleared up, but like it was and I was like, why are people complaining about this? What's the big deal? And then I, because I, I hadn't heard much about this. And then I looked it up. And I'm like, what is this stuff anyway? So I looked it up and I'm like, holy fuck. It's like, a, it's like over $1,000 a month for this stuff. Like if you're, if you're paying for it out. I think that was the out-of-pocket. I don't know. It was stupid expensive. And I'm like, holy fuck. People are using this like. The only word I can think of is cosmetically, but that's not right. But like. I guess cosmetic reasons? I don't know, whatever. I guess if you have money, you can get anything you want. Yeah, it's crazy expensive. Uh, uh, do you ever order the shirt I redeemed when I was up? Did you tell me which one you wanted? I think I forgot, but I will, I can get that ordered for you. Um, the Eats a Pizza one's now available. My left leg, the one that's been hurting, is a full two inches bigger than your right leg. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to get my health issues taken care of as fast as I can because my insurance is decent at this job. Yeah, if you got it, use it. I I felt when my when my appendix burst, and I like held my basically held my breath for weeks, being like, "What's this bill going to be?" I I know it's going to be, and and I ended up I what was it two uh. It was either the two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars, like for me, out of pocket, for the thirty-two thousand dollars that, like, the surgery and everything costs. And I'm like, you know, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I feel like if you can afford to buy some miglitude out of pocket, just save up and get lipo. Don't take it from people that need it for medical purposes. Yeah, but but people want an easy out and. And as long as people can buy their way to an easy out, then that's just what they're going to do. I see that. I'll take a Yitza pizza in a red XL. All right. Will do. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to put that in right, right now. But, but I got chat right here so we can keep, keep up with chat while I place this free merch order for Phoenix. Where this? Where the hell do? You... Oh, they changed the freaking login screen on this. I wish I had money to fix my body. I wish we all had money to fix the things that were broken on us, or out of whack, or just not the way that they should be. I wish us all. I wish us all newfound wealth and prosperity because we because you are all good people and it is deserving wow good job having decent insurance yeah i was thinking back to all those other times like when i had other jobs that either didn't have insurance or like it was so shitty it was it was literally cheaper to to just go and say i didn't have insurance than to actually try to use it All right, red yeats a pizza shirt. In XL. Phoenix, can you just DM me your address real quick so I don't have to dig through messages looking for it? Because I know, I know I've sent you merch before, but this will just be quicker. I have so many health problems that I literally cannot get a job without health care. And I, I have, like, 
long-standing things like that i know just the older i get the more they're gonna the more they're gonna present themselves just because that's you know the, that's the body does it deteriorates over time i know like as time goes on the, the arthritis i had as a kid will come back more and more and um i'm hoping that i'm hoping the childhood asthma i have never comes never comes back because when i outgrew that like you know that was good that was good But otherwise, I, th I think I'm doing all right health-wise. Nothing to really complain about other than just being, being tired from the last couple weeks. Here we go. Thank you, Phoenix. Well, yeah, I hope everybody, especially going into summer, I hope whatever ailments people are having let up so that we can enjoy, people can enjoy their summer. Because having, having health issues makes it tough. But whether you go to shows, whether... You go to the beach, whether you go to the woods and read a book under a tree, whatever you like to do, I hope you're able to get out there and do it. Put magnets on your brain. I highly recommend. All right, there we go. There's uh, Stream Allen's let us know that uh, Phoenix's shirt is on the way. Uh, expected delivery, Phoenix, is between the 23rd and the 26th. At least that's what they say. But thank you for the redemption. Sorry it slipped my mind, but... It's on its way. What do the magnets on the brain do? Turn you into Magneto? So, oh, speaking of Magneto, though, I hope everyone's been keeping up with X-Men 97. I think there's two episodes left. God, it's one of the... It's... It's so damn good. Just... The people that... The people that made this... Put them in charge... Of X-Men and the... Like, the live-action X-Men and the MCU... And everything will be fine. Last week was fucked... I will not disagree with that, but like, 
It's still so fucking good. <laughs> They're just like, ah. Oh. Aw, oh, depression. I'm sorry. It's 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 a vile beast. Depression. Just in time for your vacation to Florida. Hell yeah, Yitza Pizza in Florida. To be my X Men. <laughs> too little, too late, Doc. The magnets are super helping. Really? Like, is this like, is it like, I mean, you're not, you're not taking like refrigerator magnets and just like decorating your melon. I mean, or maybe you are and it's helping in which case, great. That sounds super affordable. <laughs> That's right. The sooner I go to bed, the sooner I get new X-Men. Yeah. And that means... I'll be lucky to be able to see it tomorrow, which is because like work. And then tomorrow, I, I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow's our dress rehearsal. Oh my God. I'm definitely not ready. Oh, well, they may be, they may be going into Friday's first performance with like brand new tech in place. We'll see. We'll see. There's a push for Spider-Man 98 now by fans. I saw that too. And I'm like, you know, the fucking Spider-Man cartoon was also like right up there and right up there in the childhood, right up there in the childhood, right up there. with Gazoontite. <laughs> I assume you all heard that. But yeah, that'd be, that'd be sweet to bring, to bring that back too. Spider-Man cartoon. That was Tom. <laughs> Same universe with X-Men. Well, I mean, they're, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm trying not to give anything away, but like, yeah. I, I feel like maybe there's at least an allusion to that. But. <laughs> He's already back, kind of. But yeah. As much as I just I wanted to keep going, I'm also like super stoked for the finale and where it's gonna where it's gonna close off. But I, I think they've already at least been really positive to the idea of like a season two, or maybe that would be maybe that would be X Men '98. I don't know if it's a year. I don't know, but where it goes from here, in any case. Um, one th uh, yeah, what, what, where was I going with that? Once, uh, once the finale's over, to then be able to go back and just watch the whole thing in one fell swoop. Because I, I purposely haven't gone back and, and rewatched them like that because because I want to be able once I get to the end, go back to the beginning and then watch all these episodes again at once for the second time, as opposed to like along the way going back and rewatching. I don't know. I feel like it'll be more i don't know i like the linearness of my idea the number of characters that have shown up in the season are either from the avengers universe the number of characters that have shown up this season that are either from the avengers universe who have been announced to be coming in soon in the mcu has been blowing my mind and it's and it's crazy that like yeah, we're only getting one movie this year, but like, I feel like X Men '97 is really making up for like having nothing between January and July. I'm not sure what is on the slate, either Disney, uh, like Disney Plus wise, after Deadpool and Wolverine. I haven't looked that far ahead, but like, I, I kind of like that there's there's less stuff happening now, like. A couple of years ago when it was like one thing ended and another thing began like the fatigue was real i mean i still watched it i still enjoyed it but like it was just a, just a lot it got to where it felt like i wasn't necessarily watching it because i wanted to i was watching it because i kind of had to because i didn't want to you know 
miss out on the greater the greater story or anything like that. But I like that it's that's slowed down. Cause it's like not having something immediately on gives you that gives you that chance to look forward to what's coming. And let you process what you've seen, maybe go back and rewatch some things and the voice actor for the nineties Spider Man was on X talking about Excitement of fans that want him to return to reprise his role. My favorite part of X-Men 97 is that the showrunners know that the people who grew up with the cartoon, well, we grew up, so they raised the stakes. Yeah, and, and they haven't been afraid to pull any punches, and I think that's... There, there's no pandering there. It's... it's, it's This this is this is reality... Well, as much as reality as a cartoon can be, is like, this, this is reality. Bad shit happens, and there are consequences. And some things happen that you just can't fix. So. But yeah, he's good. He's good. All right, it's 1044. Oh, my God. Well, we've, we've had some good chats, but um, it's time to fire up the marbs, because as I've, I've been broken record all night, your boy is tired as fuck enough to get to bed tomorrow's gonna be my third very long very busy day in a row so but i don't want to leave you all without any marbs and especially since we're not having a stream on friday because that's opening night for this show so it'll be a week before i get to see you again so we might as well make it count And in fact, in fact, we're we're powering right on through. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna take a not even gonna take a potty break. But go ahead if you need one. If you need one right now, go ahead and take a potty break while I get the Marbs maps set up for us. And then uh, calling all Marb stars. Calling all Marb stars. Bring your marbs up to the service desk. It's time to play Marbles on Stream. Bring those marbs to the service desk and plop them on the counter. It's time to play Marbles on Stream! Devil's Skate, first one on the board. Don't forget, exclamation point, play, and then a number of your choosing if you want a custom skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. RPG battle. Wrong stream. All right, what does this say? Oh, GG's and a smiley face. Oh, that's a nice way to start. All right, exclamation point play and a number of your choosing. Could be the eats a pizza, could be the ice cream sandwich, could be Krabby Cakes if you're feeling snippy. Oh, we have seven marbs on the board. One more opens up that coveted eighth place position. Can we get an eighth? Rickshaw Tom! Opens up the possibility of the eighth. <laughs> Rickshaw Tom bringing us an eighth, man. <laughs> All right, we got Wadi, Pudge, Anya May, Rickshaw Tom, Devil Skate, myself, Yanks, and HB. Do we still have a crystal lamp here? He said he mentioned he might fall asleep. He might fall asleep, so we shall see. But we'll uh, we'll say calling Chris the lamp. Calling Chris the Lamp. It's time for Marbles on Stream. Calling Chris the Lamp. Calling Chris the Lamp. You're wanted at the service desk. It's also a bit early, so I don't know. I don't know. It may be too early to get a CMA in here. But paging CMA. Paging CMA. We are playing Marbles on Stream. Paging CMA. Come to the service desk for Marbles on Stream. But we'll get we'll give him a minute. I'll I'll take a little sipperoni in my beverage here. And again, the the main thing here for having this stream, even though I'm really tired, was I wanted to try this doc, Dr Pepper creamy coconut because I bought it and it's been on my table for a couple of days because I wanted my first my first time trying it to be here on stream, and it was worth the wait. It's very good if you like coconut flavored things that don't 
that don't tread in the waters of like sunscreen or shampoo or that sort of coconut thing, then give it a go. Of all the alternate Dr. Pepper variants, this is probably my favorite one. Tom has been resisting turning on Boulder's Gate since you got back from Ninja. Maybe I'll do it and try a conflict I was in last night again. Well, if, if you jump on, um, we can raid on over once Marbs is over. So, it's up to you. If you do it, stream it, Tomp. Yeah, exactly. When we'll uh, we'll raid on over. But I think I think we've got our eight marbs, so we're we're gonna roll. Yes, you boys gotta get to sleep. Oh, I had a really weird dream the other night. I only remember one part of it, but it was like it was pretty freaking weird. Um, I was. I don't remember the context of the situation or anything, but I was, I, ma I made a, I was making a peanut butter sandwich, like a basic ass peanut butter sandwich on, on, it was specifically on, on honey wheat bread. I don't know why I remember that, but I, but it was, it was like plain old peanut butter, like on honey wheat bread. But for some reason, I was like, I took a bite of it, took another bite. And I was like, there's all this like stringy white stuff. And I'm like, what the heck even is this? Like it, the texture and it, it, the look and the texture of it was like, is this, is this marshmallow fluff? Did I, did I make a peanut butter sandwich and it <clears throat> evolved into a fluffer nutter? But no, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a fluffer nutter because what it actually was, was um uh melted packing peanuts like insulation material like like styrofoam it was melted styrofoam and i like every and it was but it was in there like like marshmallow fluff with every single bite i was like i had to like i take a bite and i had to like pull all the pull all of that out of my mouth and then like i even like i'd open i'd open it up and like trying to take it off the sandwich, but it was just, I, I couldn't get it all off, but I, yeah, I have, I have no freaking idea. And I woke up and I was like, that was so weird and so gross. Cause even though it was like stringy and sticky and like marshmallowy, it was also like stretchy and rubbery and like, uh, and it was like so vividly textured. Couldn't get all that white stuff white stuff off. Oh, yeah, I guess not. But it looks like Anya May is leading the way here with Yanks in second and your boy in third. Zippity zop zoom. Oh no. Oh no. Anya May stuck the landing though. Oh, that could pay off. That could pay off. Anya May ended up in this tumble dryer of despair. Oh, but here comes your boy, making it a race. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're making yourself a peanut butter sandwich and it suddenly starts to look like a fluffer nutter, uh, don't eat it, because chances are it is uh, melted remnants of packing peanuts. So uh, Eric, don't eat that. Dream Eric, don't eat that. I don't know why I was so insistent on like I'm eating this. Damn it, because it was also like. Like, I'd try to eat it, and it would, like, like, the long stringy bits of it would, like, start to go down my throat, and I'd have to, like, reach in my mouth and, like, pull the strings out because they're, like, hanging in my throat. It was... Anime with the W, and your boy in second. Who's going to get third here? Oh, is Yank's going to pull off the third? We shall see. Where's the rest of the field here? Oh, here comes Waddy into the tumble dryer of despair. Waddy versus Yank's for third.
Oh, Yank's taking the wrong way around if Waddy makes it out. Oh, Devil Skate. Here comes Devil Skate. Duking it out with Waddy for fourth now. Yanks locks it in. Oh, HB and Rickshaw Tom. Some Yeats of Pizza, though. And HB locking down that eighth for the pact. Oh, I think that, that might have been the Flames of Oblivion caught up with everyone. But Anya May with the W. Your boy second, Yanks in third. Everyone else offers him Yeats of Pizza, Devil Skate fourth, Waddy fifth, Pudge sixth, Rickshaw Tom seventh, and HB secure in that eighth. It's okay, we have a pact. <laughs> Exclamation point, rigged. All right, moving on to race number two, Electric Boogaloo, Abstract, Higher Race. Exclamation point, play. Plus the number of your choosing between one and seven. To customize your marb. Joining this pact was probably the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't know if you're in the pact. But it's kind of funny. It's it's like our it's like our truth thinking he's in the judgment day when he's really not. That was a good bit. I enjoyed that. Oh, I suppose I should get in the board too. The people currently in the pact with Wadi who are allowed to get eighth and Mars without without a how dare are <gasps> Saza HB flip that noise on you made Jessica Rowe, Ham Hunter Monkey Sila thirteen Ariel V Ariel Music Junkie nineteen eighty seven and Slytherin. Judgment Day? <laughs> I'm talking about the uh, the wrestling faction with a Dominic Mysterio. Tom's never been in the pact. <laughs> Is that one of her derby names? I think it was, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Waddy. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got nine. We picked we picked up an extra Marb Star. Who do we got? Let's, let's holy crap, this one is Alright, two minute right Is that two minutes or two hours? That's two minutes. Okay. We're about to have some words. Oh, oh, did we miss Mare Bear last time? Is that what it was? We got Yanks, Devil Skate, Waddy, HB, Pudge, Anime, myself, Rickshaw Tom, and Mare Bear. Getting that booty in there. Oh, you missed last one by a second. I'm sorry, Mayor Bear. I'm sorry. Well, we, we won't roll without you for the rest of them. But anybody else out there who's lurking, maybe wants to get on in, exclamation point plays, all you got to do, you don't have to own marbles on stream to play along. You just got to type it in chat. It's as easy as that. You were going potty. That's a good excuse. Bio breaks are essential. Well, since we're all here, let's get rolling. Ah, ah. Oh, okay, interesting. Instead of starting with a f drop, we're starting with uh, vacuum tubes. All of different colors. Okay. So, I guess, depending on which one you go to is which uh, <clears throat> Infinity Stone you're after. So, it looks like, uh, looks like me and Rickshaw Tom are, are duking it out for the Mind Stone. Uh, oh, but, oh, but they change colors as they go along. Um, Yanks and Anime are going after the Time Stone. Oh, now, now me and Rickshaw Tom are going after the, the Mind Stone. Or the ether, which is an angry sludge. Oh, we got the bulk of folks here going after the power stone. Where the heck do we go from here? Oh, your boys offer you some pizza. That ain't no reality. Or that is reality. Yeah, reality is whatever I make it, and apparently I'm making it be eats a pizza. Oh, Devil's Gate eats a pizza as well, and stealing that eighth. Locking in two out of three for the hat trick. Oh, it looks like Pudge is in first place, though, with HB in second, Yanks in third. Heading into the Spearmint Chewing Gum Labyrinth. Oh, getting kicked around. Labyrinth's not pulling any punches. But Pudge going around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, holding on to that first place spot. 
HB second, Anya May in third. I'm going to alter mine. Starts coughing. Oh. Alter your mind stone. Alter your reality. Pudge Zippity Zop Zoom taking a commanding lead. Now we now we roll down the rainbow bridge to Valhalla. Oh, now we got pretty much a tie here for Sexy Silver between HB and Anya May. Well, Anya May getting just a bit ahead there. It's Pudge's race to lose at this point. I think Pudge might have this one in the bag, but we shall see. Is the cat out of the bag? Does Pudge the kitten have this one on lock? We shall see. Anything can happen when you're playing marbles on stream. Ooh, ooh. There's that. The, and I have a leaving a curler there that's going to throw people to Yeats of Pizza Oblivion. Oh, Anya May! Getting getting thrown to Yeats of Pizza by Ann Iva. But, H, but uh, HB locking in that second because Pudge gets the W. Here comes Wadi for third. There's your top three, everybody. Oh, no, and Yanks! Yanks getting thrown out by Ann Ivis Curler as well. Sneaky, sneaky. Devil out there! It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. That's right, Mr. Sherman. Everything stinks. And here comes Mare Bear for that fourth. But Pudge with the W. Dominant performance there. Pudge bringing the chaos, showing us how it's done. HB second, Wadi third, Mare Bear fourth, Yanks fifth, Rickshaw Tom in sixth, Anya May seventh, Devil Skate getting how dared thusly in eighth, and your boy in dead last. When I race number three, we're halfway there. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Abducted, abandoned, abduction. Exclamation point play. How many more races? Don't know if I'll be done pooping. Uh, this is number three, so three, four, five. Pinch it off! Seema! I was hoping we weren't rolling too early to be able to see you. Why guys take long time to poop? I mean, with our pocket computers and everything, we kind of get distracted with other things. But back in the day before the time of pocket computers, it was... Hmm, reading the ingredients on these shampoo bottles sure is interesting. And sometimes you just don't know if you're actually done or not. And the last thing you want to do is be inefficient and have to, you know, finish up and then you get up and then, then your stomach goes, you're not done yet. I decided to drive home instead of hanging out in the computer parking lot. All right, Seema, that sounds like the smart thing to do. I got two little books above my toilet on the tank. <laughs> That's the worst. All right, well, are we all here? Let's do roll call here. All right, returning champ, Pudge, Rickshaw Tom, Anyame, Seema, Mare Bear, Devil Skate, Waddy, myself, and HB. And there's Yanks. That makes 10. We got 10 marbs on the board. Yeah. If I didn't say your name, you're not on the board. I'm going to take another little sip of my peach iced tea seltzer here. We'll do one more roll call, and then we will roll. Two really thick toilet tumor books. 1,001 faces that will scare the shit out of you, and shit happens. Get over it. <laughs> Facts. All right. We got Pudge the Kitten, Rickshaw Tom, Yanks, Anya May, myself, Wadi, Devil Skate, Mare Bear, HB, and Seema. Faces are not facts. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought like just a book of, like, like a big book of British smiles or something. <laughs> I mean, people like cheeky humor like that, so like, just a book of like the 
I don't know. Why must you turn my practice into a place of lies? <laughs> I don't like that kind of humor on the whole. Yeah, I, uh, we haven't seen CB Geek tonight. <laughs> whole, God damn it. All right, let's get rolling here. Because, I mean, I also got a late start, so he may have, uh, he may have cuddled up with the kitties and went to take a nap, and then it turned into sleep. Also, Seymour! Our uh, record on this course, 2 minutes, 36 seconds. All right, Devil Skate first one out. Oh, but the Hiram's Mare Bear making it a race. Devil Skate holding on, though. Oh, but Mare Bear scooting ahead. This is all like, oh, this is super, this is a super cramped course. I don't, I don't really like this. It's hard to follow. Oh, but Mare Bear, Mare Bear's in the lead though. Mare Bear's figured it out. Oh, but here comes Yanks and Seema. Oh, they're getting kicked around though. Patoo, 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 patoo. I haven't seen that before. Patoo. Oh, but Yanks has moved into the lead. Here comes Devil Skate, who's in second. I th at least I think. There's so many lanes of travel going. Okay, now we warp somewhere. What the heck is going on? What the heck, Aruni, is going on in this course? Wait, are we up here now? Where the? Ugh. Oh, we got some deadly lasers down there. Looks like anything is gonna happen. Okay, where the heck is everyone going? Okay, are those, like, identical, but they're on either side? You got more of those Patu cannons. Oh, Yanks, Yitza Pizza. HB as well. Then Rickshaw Tom. Oh, Rickshaw Tom, Yitza Pizza in and stealing that eighth as well. Stealing for the Judgment Day. Mare Bear eats a pizza. Wadi eats a pizza. Devil Skate eats a pizza. Your boy, Seema, Pudge, and Anya May are the only... Oh! I spoke too soon. Anya May is going for some Yitza pizza. I, you know, this course, I can't, I don't blame anyone for piecing out to go get some Yitza pizza. This course kind of sucks. And I say that despite the fact that I am currently in the lead. I got myself, Seema and Pudge trying to make it a race while everyone else eats delicious Yitza pizza. But we got some deadly lasers over here. Your boy does not have a very good record with the deadly lasers. All right, here we go. Oh, and your boy dodged the deadly lasers. Good job, me. Hey, and your boy got the W. Seema locking in that sexy silver. Now, can Pudge make it? Ben Pudge makes it past the deadly lasers as well. All right, we got a top three out of this after all. And I even had the Yitza Pizza Marb while everyone else enjoys some actual Yitza Pizza. Top out there! Eric, congrats. Thanks! I'm allowed to win sometimes, damn it. Seema in second, Pudge in third, Anime fourth, Devil's Gate fifth, Wadi sixth, Mare Bear seventh, Rickshaw Tom in eighth. Oh. Whoa. HB 9th, Yanks in 10th. Here we go. Hashtag hacking, hashtag rigged, hashtag skin, hashtag ploy, hashtag ruse, hashtag bamboozled, hashtag shenanigans, hashtag tomfoolery, hashtag hoodwinked, hashtag poppycock, hashtag malarkey, hashtag balderdosh, hashtag claptrap, hashtag rapscallion, hashtag flimflam, hashtag seuss, hashtag gg. Wow. One of these days, you're going to reach the character limit and Trash is going to just stop and be like, nope. <laughs> no more. Oh, that's awesome. 
All right, move on to the penultimate race, number four out of five, Spiraling Crushing Amusement. Exclamation point play. <laughs> Rapscallion. Oh, we got a big word here. Uh, spot. What does this say? Spine. Cur Spine Crusher 85. That doesn't sound good. I would advise not crushing your spine if you can help it. It's kind of important to keeping us upright. All right, we got eight of us on the board. We had ten last time. All right, we got HB, Anyume, Pudge, Devilscape, Mare Bear, Seema, myself, and Wadi. Rah. All right, we are missing Rickshaw Tom and Yanks. <laughs> and Wadi, Yanks and Tom. Uh, paging Rickshaw Tom, you're wanted at the service desk. Paging Rickshaw Tom, you're wanted at the service desk. And there's Yanks. Didn't even have to be embarrassed over the PA system of Ames. I'm not sure if Rickshaw Tom's done pooping. He's possibly firing up the old stream box. I don't know, we may have to roll without Rickshaw Tom. Hey, there you are. All right, that's the 10 of us here, so let's get rolling. Got the Plinko start here. All right, who's going to be the first one out? Is it Seema? It's Seema and Rickshaw Tom. The beach going... Oh, different direction. We are... Ah! We're stuck in a something. Oh! Get us out of here! Ah! That was disturbing. Oh, we got a lot of Yeats of Pizzas here flying out the tube. Oh, and Wadi just missing the Yeats of Pizza. But Pudge was there to steal it. Hmm. Exclamation point poop. Anya May also join in for some Yeetsa Pizza. Pudge Wadi and HB, respectively. We got some. Are these deadly? Oh, these may be the safe lasers. They don't look like the deadly ones. Oh, we got the small turntables here. That's why nothing's happening. Ha 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 ha! I think that I think that sounds a little something like uh, I, more like this. I think this is what Pudge is going for. <laughs> something like that. Pudge out there, <laughs> and HB bringing it up the rear. Yanks, though, currently leading the way. There's a zippity zop zoom as soon as you get out of the tumble dryer, though. Going into that blueberry twizzler with a with a fast cherry core. Oh, Mare Bear, though, scooting out ahead. But going right into the pegboard. But Mare Bear going around the outside, around the outside. But the Yanks is already there. We got a race here between Yanks and Mare Bear. Duking it out here, trading blows, going back and forth, back and forth forever.
And we got Devil's Gate in third, Rickshaw Tom fourth, and your boy in fifth. Seamaw way back there in sixth. Stuck way back at the top. Oh no, Seamaw. Hat trick? Hat trick. Oh, but Yank's flying through the pegboard. Mare Bear getting pegged a few times, though. Fortunately, that slows you down. Oh, but Mare Bear going around the outside the second time. It's going to take a bit. going to take some effort to catch up with Yanks, though. Heading towards the cannon. That leads to the finish, though. I think cannon, uh, I think Yanks has got this unlocked. Kablooey! Oh, just off the rim and made it. Mare Bear. Oh, no, misses. S misses the net. Mare Bear yeets a pizza. Yanks, though, locking in that W. Oh, no, Seema yeets a pizza as well. I think might have gotten hit by the Flames of Oblivion. Devil Skate. Swish. Oh, your boy off for yeets a pizza, too. Now we're just waiting on Rickshaw Tom. Can Rickshaw Tom stick the landing? Badoo! Oh, yeah. But Yanks with the W. There's your top three. Yanks, Devil Skate, and Rickshaw Tom. Everyone else offered delicious yeats of pizza. You're going fourth. Seema fifth. Mare Bear sixth. Anya May seventh. Pudge stealing that eighth. Wadi in ninth. And HB in tenth as we head into the last race here. Terrific Special Avenue. Hey, I'm supposed to be the one pegging, not being pegged. <laughs> well, Mare Bear, sometimes, uh, sometimes you just like to switch it up a little. You know, get a feel for get a feel for the other side of the uh, device. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Exclamation point! Play. That's what I'm saying. And we'll take the Eats Pizza hat off because that would be bad luck. Like Nintendo or Switch. <laughs> All right, we've got nine of us on the board. We're just missing one. We're just missing one. All right, we've got HB, Pudge, myself, Yanks, Wadi, Anyame, Devil Skate, CP Geek, uh, Seema, I should say, and Rickshaw Tom. So who are we missing? We're just missing one. Sorry, I was getting out of the shower. Ooh. Mare Bear getting out of the shower. <laughs> All right, we got Seema, Devil Skate, Wadi, myself, Pudge, HB, Yanks, Anime, and Rickshaw Tom. Just got to wait for Mare Bear. All dripping from the shower to get a little exclamation point play for us. Hey, now, let's not make showers weird. <laughs> First one didn't work. All right, no worries, you're here now. So, all right, last race, let's get rolling. But at first we will say, last call, last call, the store is closing. Bring your marbs up to the service desk. Otherwise, you will be kicked out by a pack of rabid wolves. Thank you for shopping at Ames. <laughs> too late. Hundred percent too late. But but you gotta remember, this is also you're also you're also looking at a dude who uh, has a who reviewed fucking caffeinated soap on YouTube by taking a shower and filming it because he thought that was a good idea. I think I think we made showers weird a long time ago. <laughs> Honestly, that was less weird. Well, then I guess I I guess I don't know anything. <laughs> and then I send you Seymour Skinner and the Steamed Hams fan fiction from an 18 plus anime con. 
Mmm, steamed hams. All right, Rickshaw Tom currently in the lead on your May 2nd. Your boy in third. Oh, it could be HB in third. Oh, no, it's Yanks. We got a freaking race going on here. Holy moly. This reminds me of like a Hot Wheels course. Anime in the lead. Uh, Yanks second. Your boy third. Rickshaw Tom fourth. We had a lot of fast paced hot action going on here with our marbs. All right, dropping through the comb here is going to be the first. Now HB is in the lead. Got to fly past that wacky wave waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Oh, but here comes Pudge. Pudge. Looking for an upset over Yanks. Yanks is current is back in the lead. Now Pudge is in the lead. Now Anya May is back in the lead. Holy crap. I think everyone's getting a turn. All right. Anya May is in first. Seema in second. Pudge third. And it's Rickshaw Tom versus Yanks for fourth. But Anya May is holding on. At least for one more day. Maybe it's maybe it's the color that makes me think it's like it's like a Hot Wheels course. Cause it's like you know the, the color that the Hot Wheels like tracks are colored. Ah, oh, Seema moving up into second. Anya May though taking the long way around, but it's holding on. Oh, here comes Pudge, though. Pudge scooting into the lead. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I'm glad it's not just me. Those are pretty big for Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Men, so I'm not quite sure what they are. Those are Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Men. I kind of feel like they're explosives. Well, I guess we'll see if they blow up. What? What? Okay, it just turned from blue to red. Does that mean it's going to explode? Okay, I guess they're just... Okay, that's weird. But Seema! Seema is now in the lead. The Hot Wheels color. Yeah, yeah. Anya May in second, Pudge in third. This course has a world record of 4 minutes, 22 seconds. We're currently at the 3 minute, 10 second mark. Oh, that's a bomb! Oh, Seema! Bibbidi... Uh, big Bada Boom! But used it advantageously to increase the lead. Interesting musical course here. But Seema still in the lead. Anime in second. Rickshaw Tom up into third now. Oh, couldn't quite make it through the spin Rooney. On on Yame capitalizing though. Oh, but stumbling. Seema reclaiming the here comes Pudge like a bat out of hell. Oh, but there's a warp point there. Where does... Oh, sneaky, sneaky Seema. Pudge, Pudge was in the lead for just a second, but Seema taking a warp and getting back into the lead. Oh, we got some propellers here. Seema pulling out all the stops in this race. <clears throat> Pudge getting hung up on the pegboard here. But Seema holding on. Oh, and this is the final drop. Can Seema pull it off? Seema pulls it off. An amazing performance there. Pudge second. Devil Skate in third. Oh, no. Rick Chateau completely misses the mark. Yeats a pizza to end things off. Anya May joining Rick Chateau for some Yeats a pizza. Devil Skate third. Wadi fourth. HB fifth. Yanks sixth. Oh, your boy joining for some Yeats of Pizza and Mare Bear hitting the mark. Ta-da! 
Who wants to bet money that Lamp fell asleep during Brady's roast for a third time? Yeah, probably. I just really like the pegging. Eric, how oh dare! Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't hide that one. I, that was, that was all me. Oh well. <laughs> But Seema with the W, Pudge second, Devil's Gate third, Wadi fourth, HB fifth, Yanks in sixth, Mare Bear seventh. Your boy getting how dared thusly for stealing that eighth and a little Yitsa pizza. Anya May in ninth and Rickshaw Tom rounding things out in tenth. And Seema earned plus two energy, whatever that is used for. So well done there. All right, but let's head on over to Victory Valley. See who stands tall, stands proud, goes home with all the gold, glory, and bragging rights. <gasps> Hiccup. All right, in third place, go home with the bronze. We've got... Hey, it's your boy. And in second place, going home with silver, sexy silver, we've got... Seema! Despite missing a couple of races, Seema gets the sexy silver overall. Well done. Oh, and we got hat tricks, too, before we unveil the grand winner. Eric and Pudge with hat tricks. Woo! Woo! <laughs> But in first place, going home with all the gold, all the glory, and all the bragging rights is none other than the most excellent Pudge! With all the chaos, all the expert marble navigation, Pudge showing us how it's done with an incredible performance. 115 points, one W. Yeah, no one else is even close. Seema in second, 83 points and one W, despite only being in three races. Well done, Seema. That's talent right there. Your boy in third, 81 and one. Yanks fourth, 79 and one. Devil's Gate fifth, 71 and 0. Anime in sixth, 44 and one. HB seventh, 39 and 0. Rickshaw Tom stealing that overall eighth, 32 and zero. Just ahead of Wadi, 30 and 0 for ninth. And then Mare Bear rounded things out. Unfortunately, didn't get any points or any dubs. Sorry, Mare Bear, but we're glad you were here with us. We'll still send you home with a cop. We'll st still we'll st we'll still give you a copy of the home game. That's what they used to say, right? Every time I hear Pudge, I think of the penguin and cats don't dance. Can't win them all. Yep. <clears throat> but one more round of applause because we are all Excellent. on this blessed day it's because i was in the shower i know it yeah i guess i guess i guess marbles wouldn't go over too well in the shower it's it seems really dangerous to me so ah well but thanks for hanging out everybody and again if you're into coconut flavored things this dr pepper creamy coconut is worth checking out i think it's i think it's very good and i can't wait to down the rest of that 12 pack i've got I will be taking some to work for sure. But GG's everybody all around. Good night, everyone all around. He's named after the fish, but that too. <laughs> uh, thanks, Eric. Have a great week. Yes, yeah, I'm glad we were I'm glad you were able to pop in, Seema. That must have been before I got here. But yes, uh, just a reminder, um, there won't be a stream on Friday because Friday is opening night of the show that I'm running tech for. So there won't be a Friday stream. We'll be back here next Tuesday. And then next Friday, I will be streaming here on Twitch the show that I'm running tech for as sort of a test run before I do it on our YouTube channel because I'm, I'm trying a whole like live stream multicam sort of complicated thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'd like it if you guys could be my test audience for that. But that's next Friday. So not this coming Friday, the following Friday. So unfortunately, I won't see you this Friday again. I missed you, la I missed you last week for, uh, for Death Cab and Postal Service. But I mean, you would all do the same thing if you were me. Hope the show is awesome. Good luck. Unfortunately, I'm just running the tech. So I don't have to. I mean, I was going to say, I don't have to do any of the hard stuff. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of the hard stuff. But yeah. Well, here's, here's hoping it goes well and that when we're, uh, when we stream it for you next Friday, everything is firing on all cylinders and it's a really good experience. Uh, but we are going to, we are not just going to peace out tonight. We're going to raid over to Tomp, who is playing some, uh, jump back into Baldur's Gate. Hold on. 
I guess it's been a minute since we raided. Why? Why? Hold on. Ah! Everything's all over the place now. Okay, here we go. I just had to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, but yeah, I will. I best I can. I will jump in on on other streams as the week and the weekend progresses. Um, even if I'm just there for a lurk, I'll let you know I'm there. Um, so Wadi, we'll see you all tomorrow on your stream Thursday on Lamp Stream. Um, but yes, I will do my best. I will do my best. But uh, one last thing to do, last piece of business to keep you with is to just say so long and good night before we raid off. <gasps> So long and good night. And butthole pleasures. It's not about butthole pleasures. It's not about butthole pleasures. It's about raiding to Rickshaw Tom. Right now.